Welcome to Dee's Nuts Garage. And today we're back out here working on the 1978 F350. And what we're gonna be doing today is painting the frame. All right, like I said in the intro video there, what we're gonna be doing is painting the frame on our F250. And the first thing we're gonna be doing is using a maroon scotch Bright pad. What I'm going to do is just scuff up the whole entire frame, and then what I'll do after that is I'll come back with some grease and wax remover. I bought this stuff at O'Reilly's for like nine bucks. Uh, we'll put it on a rag, wipe the whole entire frame down, get it good and clean, so that way we can apply our paint. And the paint we're going to be using today is Rust-Oleum High Performance Enamel, and it is a gloss silver gray paint. Now, I don't have a gigantic uh, two-stage compressor and all the I guess the equipment to pull the moisture out of the air uh, that's about a two thousand dollar setup if you buy a really good one so um, I don't have the room for it and I don't feel like spending that kind of money just to paint this frame um, so what I'm going to do is use this paint and I've heard a lot of good things about it we're going to put two coats on it let it dry three or four hours flip the frame over put another two coats on the spots that we missed on the underside of this frame so uh, another thing is, uh, if you're doing this in a garage, uh, you, I, I have my garage door open, I'll have a fan going in the background, but uh, I still have this uh, respirator or, uh, to help, I don't know, filter some of the fumes out from the paint. Uh, I'm hoping I don't have to wear it, like I said in the last video, because it's really hot and that on your face, it's just kind of, it's just really hot. So I'm hoping that I have enough ventilation that I don't have to use this, but I'll probably more likely be using it if there's a lot of, uh, I'll say, overspray coming off of these cans. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll put this on a time-lapse video and the first part that you'll see is me uh, scuffing up the frame. Then the second part you'll see is me wiping down the frame as best I can and then uh, letting, it, letting all that dry and then we'll get to painting. All right, so I have used the uh, maroon scotch bright pad, scuffed up the whole frame. And then with the uh, next thing I did was use the grease and wax remover. I put that on a yellow rag, so that way, because I was wiping the frame down, it allows me to see how dirty the frame was. And the um, rag was pretty clean, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start painting. As you can see, I put some plastic down on the ground these cans don't really have a whole lot of pressure, so I'm not really worried about the uh, dust coming up from the ground, but still I'm gonna try to keep the paint off of my concrete floor. So let's get started on uh, painting this frame. So I used one can of that paint so far. And I basically did the outside edge of the frame. Of course, this one middle support here. Also uh, painted the front and this center support and these uh, shock buckets or spring buckets, whatever you want to call them, these things right here. So I bought eight cans of paint for this, to do this frame. So what I'm gonna do is try to use about five cans on getting this painted. That'll leave me about three more cans, so that way when I let this sit for about three or four hours and dry, when I flip this frame over, I'll be able to paint the top side with about three cans of what I may have missed. So uh, I think eight cans will be plenty enough for this painting project, so uh, I'm gonna get back to doing that, and uh, let's get started.
Alrighty, so I've got about five cans on the other side that I've used, so I still have about three more cans to go. I've got the frame flipped over. So now all I need to do is basically stock sprite the top part of this frame through here. I'll probably this and this up here in the front. This cross member that kind of goes below the engine and the oil pan right here. So uh, I'm going to scotch bright that and then I'm going to wipe it down with the uh, grease and wax remover and then I'll get to painting it. Alrighty, so now I've got this uh, scotch brighted and uh, wiped down with the wax and grease remover. It's really important after you spray your first coat like I did and then I flip this frame over to go back and wipe it down with this uh, wax and grease remover. And what that's gonna do is help get the uh, excess overspray off of the bottom of this frame here. And I went ahead and wiped down all my sides so that way while I'm painting, uh, the upper parts that if I get any on the side it'll be able to just go with the paint will adhere to the other paint so I'm gonna get uh, started back on finishing up painting this so let's get going all right so that's gonna be the end of this video if you like the video hit that uh, like button down there and right after that if you haven't already subscribed to the channel just go ahead and hit the subscribe and next to that will be a little bell that pops up. If you hit that little bell, what that's going to do is allow YouTube to notify you as soon as we upload a video. Now, also uh, comment if you've ever painted a frame, uh, anything uh, like this, doing an off, uh, I guess, a ground up restoration. If you've ever painted a frame, if you've had good luck with the POR15, uh, any of the, the paint I'm using, which is this Rust-Oleum High Performance Enamel, and then uh, share it on Facebook if you don't mind. Uh, I'm trying to grow the channel, and the more it's shared, the more people will watch the videos, subscribe to the channel, and so on and so on. Now, today what we did was we painted this frame after we had applied our POR 15, and I just showed you the paint that we use, this Rust-Oleum paint. But I do have a few more brackets that I need to clean and paint and get back on the truck. And as soon as we get all the brackets uh, back on the underside of the frame, what I'm gonna do is flip the frame and I'll install a set of new leaf springs for the back of the truck and shackles and right after we do that i'm going to you may have seen it in the clips of the in this video but i do have my dana 70 axle over here to the side and i have removed one axle and i have removed one drum from one side of this axle i've removed the uh, differential cover and the yoke and the seal that goes in around the uh, yoke there uh, I'm going to replace those with new seals. All my teeth and my ring and pinion gear look good. All the bearings look good. Uh, so what I'm going to do is reuse those. And also, I'm going to uh, get into making a video of kind of cleaning this axle up and getting it rebuilt and ready to reinstall underneath the frame of the truck. Once we get this axle back underneath the frame of the truck, we're going to move to the front. And then what I'll do is, is I have some... Uh, suspension parts in the front that we're going to install get the frame to where it can be lowered back to the ground and put on its own wheels so that way it's easier to roll around but uh, that's going to be the next step after that will be starting to get into the Ford 400 rebuild project and I, I've got some good news on that I've been in contact with a gentleman that's going to uh, help me try to rebuild this engine so that way I want to be able to make some videos that are uh, good videos on this engine so that way if you have a Ford, a Ford 400 and you want to rebuild it maybe some of these tips and us rebuilding this engine you can use uh, to help rebuild your engine now that's um, all up to you if you're going to rebuild it and that's on you if something goes bad I'm not responsible for that so but that's what we've got going on so far and what we've got going on in the future I'm hoping that we can have this frame engine transmission drive line all of that ready uh maybe by christmas and that sounds kind of a long ways away 
but when you're restoring a truck from the ground up, it takes a while. So uh, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out because it's pretty daggum hot out here and uh, I wanna get inside and get a shower and I need to come back out here and clean up this garage. So with that being said, y'all have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next video.